Good morning, or maybe I should say good evening, because we are putting this online every day at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., hoping that you'll make time to sit down with your family and have this quiet time together. So what I'm going to do is just give some thoughts that will perhaps help you and help me to center in on what God is about during these days in which we're closed in. And I want to remind you of some good news. I'm going to read a verse that we usually hear at Christmas, Matthew 1, It's this, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and shall bear a son, and they shall call his name, there's that big word, Emmanuel, which translated means God with us. Did you catch that? God is with us. Wherever you are, whatever your circumstances, God is omnipresent. He is with us in our apartments, in our houses, in hospitals, in retirement facilities. Wherever you are, God is there. He is omnipresent. Isn't that tremendous news? Now, Merry Christmas was first used in the 1500s in England. It turns out it was a grammatical decision. Happy Christmas was replaced with Merry Christmas because true happiness is an inward emotion. A certain religious person decided that upon hearing the good news of Christmas, people should be merry, they should be celebratory, beginning with an outward expression of receiving good news. I love that. And let me share a quick video with you that perhaps puts everything in perspective. Watch this. I saw that and I thought, so many people think of God that way. We think God is a stone statue, unbending, non-participatory, and cold, not interested. Just like that statue was not interested to playing fetch with that puppy, we think maybe God is like that. Let me tell you something. God is the very opposite. He created us for a relationship, for intimacy. He'll never treat you like a frustrated puppy unmoved by your desire for interaction. James 4.8 assures us, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. That's simple. If I draw near to God, he'll draw near to me. If you draw near to God, he'll draw near to you. What a wonderful moment right now when a lot of the things in your life and my life has been shut down for us to draw near to God. And let's take a moment, by the way, right now to kneel in prayer wherever you are. The good news of Christmas is relevant today. God is with us right now at this moment. Will you kneel where you are as I'll try to kneel here on the steps of our worship center, which is empty, but yet it's full of the power of God and your worship center is right where you are. Let's kneel together for a moment and pray. Father, I go before you on my knees, knowing that I'll never stand this tall. No one will except for my knees. Teach us how to be knee people, quietly kneeling before you, saying, Lord, take all of my life. I surrender to you. Use this time of extremity, crisis, in our lives and in our world to make a difference in our lives and Lord, call the whole world to come home to you. We know that you so love the world that you gave your only son. May we live in that relationship with him and pray that that good news will spread throughout the world as never before to ears that will now listen, to hearts that will be open. In the past, these ears have been closed, these hearts have been closed, but Lord, this time gives us a tenderness in the middle of oppression and fear. We look to you, Father. 
come close to us and close to many who've never realized your presence before is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.